Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Lisa, if you're new here, and we've had a bunch of new subscribers. And so what is our channel about? It's about our journey, our journey building a homestead in South Dakota. So we moved in January, 2020 to South Dakota, and we all know what happened in 2020. And so all about May in 2020, we started our homestead. So our channel is all about our journey and all the things that we've done. And two of the things that we pride ourselves are on are uh, thrifty homesteading is one. And when I say thrifty homesteading, it is all about how can we repurpose stuff and do things cheaply, but at the same time, make it functional, make it last and make it look decent. Um, the other thing that we pride ourselves on is efficient use of land. We only have two acres of land, and so we do a lot on this two acres, so that way we can make it work for us. Today, we are going down to an auction as a part of our thrifty homesteading, and I'm gonna show you what we got, but I'm also gonna take you for a ride so you can see the local scenery, and also, let you know about this awesome restaurant because we're going to stop and get lunch and it's pretty unique so i'll have a few quick clips of that and then we'll show you our auction deals so come on along take the ride with us today we're traveling to hot springs south dakota which is where the veterans administration is so the town is very much veteran oriented so the good news about it is not only does it serve veterans, but it also helps with the local economy by employing local people. So we're leaving Wind Cave National Park. And the joke in South Dakota is we have two seasons, winter and construction season. So you can see Hot Springs is undergoing extensive construction. So we're getting close to the restaurant and as you can see, the sign ahead says Antiques and Pawn, and the restaurant is located in the back of the pawn shop, and it's called the Chicago Street Cafe, and it's so amazing. We didn't even know it was there before they had that sign there, so when you walk through the pawn shop, here's the restaurant. Nothing fancy, but the food is amazing, and it is all homemade quick and delicious. So today what they ended up having was a special and it was a bacon cheeseburger with french fries and the beauty of the french fries is that they are hand cut to order. And so even though the place looks empty and a lot of that has to do with the time of the year as well as the construction per the owner that we were talking to, they are still hand cutting their fries using this really cool old machine and you can watch the chef he just cuts them to order i just think that's the coolest thing ever and the food was to die for so for locals this is in the paper and it's do not take selfies with the fluffy cows and do not pet the fluffy cows and the reason why those signs are out is sadly every year uh, being a heavy tourist area we struggle with tourists getting hurt and or killed. So note to self if you come here please do not pet the fluffy cows. Fluffy cows I mean the bison or buffalo whatever you want to call them. Now we're on our way to the auction. The really cool part about coming to these auctions are we get to see some really incredible places off the beaten path. Again, this is a local auctioneer and the bidding opens online and you have the opportunity to bid until the auction is closed. Once you have quote unquote won your items, what you then receive is an invoice and the invoice gives you the address and the location of where to pick up your items and then within 48 hours is when they have pickup day so 48 hours later pickup day is then between 10 a.m and 3 p.m and you must be there to pick up your items or you forfeit them and you are charged for them so today we are heading up to the property. I will take minimal footage just out of respect for privacy. 
However, the way these work is the properties are sold and then they call the auction people in to come and auction off items to help make things manageable for people who are moving or dealing with estates. Today Ryan bought this power washer and I have the information down below and we really are looking forward to having one of these. The good part about this auction is they do tell you if it is in operational shape or not and I will talk more about that at the end. Quite honestly, this is what I really wanted from this auction was these steel ranch gates that had the wire filling so that way the piglets don't get through. And I'll explain more about that at the end as well. And we got ourselves loaded up really quickly, secured our load, and here we are heading back through Wind Cave National Park. And on the way back home, we spotted a coyote or a coyote as they are referred to out here, which was pretty cool to actually get some footage of. We made it back home and let me show you why I wanted those gates because it's gonna make life a lot easier. And it's really, really windy outside. So that's why I'm doing some voiceovers because the wind is gusty. So come on along, let me show you. Here's Norman. Norman is in his pen by himself until his mom and aunt Eleanor dry up. That way he doesn't nurse because he's been weaned. Hi, Norman, you good boy. Over here, are the two boys and there's Auntie Eleanor and there's Fiona and the problem is these steel gates the steel tube gates if anyone has purchased them you know how expensive they are they are off the chain so we have purchased uh, in the past on Facebook Marketplace. This here though, you can see the problem. There's a big gap. This here we attach to the fence, but it's really hard to push. It's a pain in the neck, especially now that we don't have the litters of piglets that we had. Well, with Norman coming in here, Norman can get out through the bottom. There you have it, our auction deals for the day. Uh, the gates were a really great price at $22.50 for a 5-foot and a 9-foot wire-filled uh, steel tubular ranch gates. And also the power washer uh, that Ryan bought was uh, $70. And they said that the pump doesn't work. They're not always correct. Um, but what he suspects happened is they left the tank full and it froze. So even if he has to buy a new tank, that's $50. So it's still a good deal. But since he's mechanically inclined, he'll definitely rip that thing apart and get it up and running. And what we'll use that for is chicken coops, turkey coops, uh, the building down in the back where we have the um, meat turkeys uh, because my hose won't reach, but that machine will. So that'll be really cool when I go to clean that out because I can power wash the building now that we're done with it for the year. And usually we have to borrow a power washer. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. So it's worth it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day and check out some more of our other videos. It really helps the channel, helps move us up in the algorithm and hope you'll stick around. Take care.